Hey, Sam here. Obviously, today we're going to go through a pull specific warm up. Now, the warm up follows the same protocol. We have six step warm up, basically, each one lasts in two minutes uh, or a maximum of two minutes, minimum of one minute. So, we have a between a six to 12 minute warm up, depending on uh, if you're early or late to the session. So, again, to start with, we have foam roller work, um, we have some banded stuff, we have you need to use a T Rex, and we also have a slam ball. Okay, so we need four bits of equipment here. The first one we're gonna do, all right, is I'm gonna time it on my phone, on my watch. So we're gonna spend two minutes on each, uh, sorry, one minute on each side. We're gonna foam roll our lats. So if we bring ourselves down in, into position, grab the foam roller, we're gonna put it on the fleshy part of our, of our side, just un, uh, below the armpit. We're gonna face hard on, and we're gonna mobilize for around a minute on each, on each arm. So we're gonna go through a 12 minute warm up for this one, okay? So we're about 15 seconds in right now. What we're looking to do is just roll up and down the length of that lap. Now for me, this is pretty sore. So we're gonna breathe in and out. As we get to halfway, which is about now, we're gonna stop and we're just gonna move my arm up and down across that foam roller. So breathe in, and then as you bring it down, breathe out. Go for a couple more seconds. Cool. And we're gonna to flick to the other side. So again, same on the other side. We're gonna roll the length of our lap to start with. So just checking the time. Ideally, I want this foot up and this knee down, and we're using my lower body to roll. I'm not using my elbow to push myself up and down, because if I do that, I then won't be fully relaxed in my lap. So from that position, we're then just gonna work. So breathing in, where it's all the most breathing out. So we have like that rolling, and then we have the pin and stretch. So when I do this pin and stretch, I want to leave it on the, like the, the grittiest part of my lap where I find it sore the most. So for me, it's like here, and I'm mobilizing in that area. Oh, that is tender. Cool. So that's two minutes, a minute per side. From that, my arm is going to be up. I'm sitting back in between my knees. I'm pushing my chest down to the ground. I'm getting a stretch on that lats, okay? So from here, again, I'm gonna hold for like 10 to 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna think about pulling my shoulder blades into the back pockets. So if you look at my shoulders and my hands, I drag them back and then I relax. I walk forward a little bit more, get deeper stretch, push my chest down. And then I'm pulling the shoulder blades back and then I'm walking in. And then from that position, what I'm gonna do is keep my thumbs up. Just checking the time. I'm gonna push my hands into the ground. So I'm thinking about pushing my elbow and my arm nice and straight into the ground and you'll feel it light up a little bit around your lats, around the side of your body here. So we hold it for about five seconds and then we relax. We get comfortable again. We might want to walk out, break it up a little bit, loosen up our shoulders, put our t-shirt into position. So again, this is two minutes in total. So we're going to walk back. We're going to oscillate, push our chest down a little bit, get nice and deep into that stretch. And then palms go up and then I'm going to push down again into the ground for five seconds. So I'm going to push down now. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh and relax. Cool. From that position, I'm gonna take a few minutes, a few seconds break, just loosen my arms up, okay? I'm then gonna get into a side position like so. So this exercise here, I'm just gonna open up my, open up my lats. So my time always stops. So hand on here. I'm gonna draw a nice big circle with my arm, keeping my knees together. Draw a nice big circle, and when I get to like 180 degrees, I then bring it back. 
I'm gonna reach forward. I'm extending through my shoulder blade or my, well, through my shoulder, through my lap. Nice big stretch. Try and draw the biggest circle that I can whilst keeping knees to knees together. What I don't wanna see is like me do this with my knees. I don't wanna be like here, open up my hips at all. I wanna keep this kind of quite square on. So I'm here, nice big circle. I'll probably get three to five reps in per minute. Okay, and then once I've done that, and then turn to the other side, it's the same process. So again, knees together, feet and hips square on. I'm gonna reach the top hand away from the bottom hand and draw a nice big circle. Now I can obviously touch the floor here, all the way through. If you can't do that, that's totally fine. Okay, just find where you're comfortable. So for you, it may be your arms are like up here a little bit, they can't hit the floor. Oh, getting cramped on my, on my leg. So a nice big reach, open up that thoracic part of the spine, open up the lats, back in. Again, this is two minutes. So I'm gonna do one more rep, reaching through. Nice big stretch. Back in. Last one. Reaching up. Nice big stretch, keeping those knees together. Open up. Try and follow your hand if you can. From that position, I'm then gonna go into a banded pull down. So, the band is set up like so. This is two minutes, so we're gonna do three sets of five in that two minutes. So we're not doing it the whole time, have a little rest in between. So, my, I'm gonna hinge back, like I'm about to do a deadlift. Our hands are, roughly shoulder width apart. I'm gonna drive that band down and away from each other. Pause, and then back up. Pause, and back up. What you'll notice is that my shoulders don't rise up, and they're up here. The shoulders are down, and I'm pulling apart. So that's number four. My back's nice and straight. My Nothing moves except my upper arms. So that's one set, I then shake it, give it a little bit of a rest. So you may aim for three sets of three, three sets of five, um, depends how quick you are in the movement. I've had that few seconds rest, I'm going to another set now. So I'll probably do two sets here. So from that position, gripping it tight, I'm pulling the band away from each other, tightening the position, and back up. So I wanna feel like me actively pull my shoulder blades down into the back pockets, if that makes sense. Really engaging the lats and the rhomboids, similar to that hinge deadlift that we do. So here, control. Last one. And back up again. Once done properly, we should feel in those lats. So it's really important that we kind of create a hinge position where my knees are vertical, the hips are back. And again, I aim for like three sets of five. Once I've done that, for the next two minutes, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's three sets of five in the inverted rows. So maybe the first set, my feet don't go too far forward. I'm here, braced, control, one. So everything is nice and steady. Three, four, five. So perhaps you're aiming for like two seconds up, two seconds down. Again, it's three sets of five in two minutes. So that first one took about 30 seconds and then shake off a little bit. Maybe if I feel confident, I take my feet further in to make it a little bit more challenging, but I'm, I'm looking to drive my elbows back so I'm not looking to bring, in this position, bring my chest up. I'm thinking with my elbows, can I bring them down to my ribs? Okay, here. Three. Awesome, and I have one more set. All right, so again, I loosen up. Three sets of five on that. 
I'm looking to get a nice good contraction, squeezing uh, my rhomboids, my lats, getting them nice and tight, pulling my shoulder blades back, pulling my shoulders back into that position. So again, I'm quite sturdy, I'm nice and tidy in this position. I'm not like down here, I'm not slouching, I'm not struggling to get up. It should be comfortable. It should be like a six out of 10, seven out of 10, in terms of how hard the exercise is for those five reps. There we are. So three sets of five in that one within those two minutes. So again, it gives you enough time to recover. From that, we then need the slam ball. So we're gonna reach up. We have two, uh, two minutes. We have two slams and 10 jumping jacks done really closely together, followed with a little bit of rest. Then I'm gonna repeat that two or three times. Okay, so here's what it look like. Maximum reach, one, two, one, two. Then we relax. So that time we were doing the slams and the jumper jacks, really short, sharp, intent, with good purpose. We then rest, get our heart rate down for 10 to 15 seconds before we go again. So we're here. Reach up nice and high. One, two. Okay, so that's two sets done. Within those two minutes, we then have one more set. So on the last set, we can go for three slams and then 10 jumper jacks. But we never want to go more than three slams and 10 jumper jacks, right? I've got a three kilo slam ball. You don't need anything more than that. Make sure we're reaching up nice and high. So my arms are straight, I'm onto my tiptoes. And I'm powering down, okay? Let's go, three slams. Up, one. Awesome. That's 11 minutes 40. That is your 12 minute warm up. Again, what you can do is take it down rather than spending two minutes per exercise, spend a minute per exercise, okay? My heart rate is pumped. I'm fully engaged. I'm activated. Uh, I'm ready for the workout now. So you should be ready for those, that pull movement we have now going forward for that very first exercise you've got. Enjoy.